हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल वेलकम टू किवी ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज दिस इज पार्ट सेवन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट सम इम्पोर्टेंट किवी थिंग्स किवी प्रॉपर्टीज एंड किवी क्लॉक सो बिफोर दैट वन सेकेंड सो बिफोर दैट इफ यू न्यू इन माई चैनल जस्ट हिट दस subscribe button and to like share my videos so uh, subscribe so you will get a latest update from my channel so let's start uh, now first of all just give you properties of supreme tv properties yes oh before that okay first of uh, tv clock tv clo ck clock yes so what uh, what is kivi clock and when uh, I, we will use this clock okay so i will discuss all these things uh, so uh, before that uh, just uh, this is my project folder and i have created main.py file and myapp.kivi file okay to initialize our class we need kivi file okay and uh, i'm just i have i'm just opening with sublime text one second why screen name main dot file yes you be sublime text yes and uh, Open file and dot kv file. Yes. <coughs> Sorry. Now mm, this is these are two files and uh, I'm importing from kv dot app import app from kv dot um, uix dot box layout. Import box layout from kv dot clo ck clock uh, clo ck clock import clo ck okay so I have imported these things so yes and I am just creating uh, hello world app okay and plus my app. I am choosing this name because I have uh, I have created this uh, Kiwi file with my my app name. Okay, so uh, this uh, class name, your app class name, and Kiwi file, uh, the name should be same. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay, and overriding build method, build method, build build method, self and return. my app dot oh. run i have not uh, created any root widget yet so now i am creating root widget plus cla plus cla double s class first to see your double end screen first screen And now I'm uh, um, importing from kv dot uix dot screen manager import scr double end. If you don't know what is screen and screen manager, just I have already have uploaded uh, in kv tutorial series. Just just watch that video. So screen and pass passing this. Because I will define this class in this key file. Okay, so just copy this name and paste here. Now, one second. So, uh, just I'm putting the box layout 
and orientation or a orientation equal to horizontal vertical okay here uh, you can uh, okay uh, so so now just test this first screen okay and now test this for this you have to just open terminal here and before that you have to just uh, save all these things okay just control s press control s okay let's increase some font size uh, yes here so it is now very visible <coughs> clearly visible now so open this here it is blank black screen now uh, just put level l a b a level and put some text to detect it is working or not hello yes yes it is working so now uh, what is kv clock object the clock object allow you to schedule a function call in future once or repeatedly means you can call functions repeatedly or once in future uh, future means in next frame or some some after some time okay so this uh, it will allow uh, to call repeated uh, repeated event or uh, one event okay so so if you are any if your pro if your program or if your application uh, need any repetitive event uh, then you should use this clock so some people th are thinking uh, for repetitive work they they will use uh, uh, for loop but uh, for loop you can't you cannot use for loop because it is it is uh, just um, one second so uh, for uh, you cannot use for loop or any while loop because you because your main thread uh, applications main thread will um, will be will be busy or or uh, your app will not be initialized okay so avoid long loop or uh, large loop uh, in main thread okay so for repetitive work you should use this uh, clock clock object okay so now yes here yeah. now let's add clock i have imported this clock some from clock and uh, import kiwi clock okay so just open kiwi documentation and just open this kiwi clock module okay so these things all things are written here very well and you can read these things so before that now i'm just calling uh, using this on kiwi post kiwi post method self and top we need two parameter to pass and here uh, in on kiwi post after uh, this uh, these things or first of all uh, kiwi will execute this after that it will call this method okay and just print hello yes and you can see here it is printed this hello in console okay now mm, uh, you can create a ev an event e e v n t or i'm just choosing any name you can choose any name okay or e object obj e obj and uh, e obj and uh, just clock schedule once okay i'm just i want to call some method once okay so for this uh, i'm i want to call this uh, callback call b s e k you you can choose any name of your of the method call back bsck self and you have to pass two things dt means delta time okay or print uh, called yes 
so yes uh, one second self one second yes so you can see here uh, this uh, call this uh, schedule once a call this call back only once here it is printed called okay and uh, uh, here uh, here uh, it is calling this method this clock schedule once calling this method method uh, after one frame on uh, next frame okay so you can call after two second or five second uh, so you can read the call schedule once yes okay uh, so or you can print dt also so it will after the initialization it will call this method it is it will call this uh, call callback method after two second okay so just save and run see here yes called and you can change this after five second okay yes okay. app is initialized but it is not there is no print yes see after five second it is it is printed now one thing very important thing uh, many people are facing this problem here see here one simple demo uh, simple thing self dot size self dot self dot size means this screen size this screen widget size okay so here see uh, this this is size is 100 comma 100 okay this that means 100 pixel with this 100 pixel and height is height is also 100 pixel but you can see the my window it is not 100 100 cross 100 or 100 pixel height it is not uh, with uh, with this more than 100 pixel and height height is also more than 100 pixel okay but it is showing 100 comma 100 pixel so this is the problem when uh, someone working with kv so we can solve it by this clock schedule once okay so just call init 2 2 i am calling this init 2 defining this init 2 method okay means i will do all calculations in next frame i n i t okay i n i t 2 yes many people are facing this problem because here see this when and you can you, you are um, when you want to put some widgets or uh, you want to draw some things in kv uh, it will because uh, because of this wrong size your widgets position and size will be wrong so one second so when you put some widgets or drawing in this uh, in this layout uh, okay so uh, because of this wrong value your uh, widgets or drawing will be in wrong position or wrong width. so you can overcome this problem or solve this problem by using this clock schedule once see here after one frame self dot size yes see this see the difference after one frame yes see first of all on after this on kb post it is printing 100 cross 100 100 comma 100 size but after one frame it is calculating uh, right width and height okay so this is the benefit of uh, this uh, clock schedule once or in next frame you have to cal you have to do calculation after next frame otherwise you will face some problem so 
होल उइजेट्स एंड पोजिशन इनकी भी दिस कॉर्नर इज दिस कॉर्नर इज जीरो 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 पोजिशन एंड दिस इज उइथ एंड दिस इज हाइट सो इफ इफ इट इज हंड्रेड कम हंड्रेड सो दैट्स मीन दिस दिस एरिया दिस सम स्मॉल एरिया ओके सो ऑल कैलकुलेशन विल बी इन दिस इन दिस रेंज सो व्हेन वी विल यूज द साइज फॉर योर विजेट्स पोजिशन एंड and we uh, size so because of this wrong size you will face many problems you cannot do proper calculations okay so up do all these things after one after next frame okay so so now and uh, okay now mm, you can Uh, uh it is it is uh, only one one event or uh, in this clock schedule once if you are using this clock schedule once you can call init to or call method only once okay so for repetitive call back you have you should use uh, this interval interval now call back and see call b s c call back okay here also now oh, i don't want to this things okay now oh, okay one second yes now i want to call this call back after 1 second and it will repeat okay so for this i i have just um, i have okay so uh, after this thing just save and run see this it is calling after 1 second in in uh, in in interval of 1 second okay See this DT is one because I have passed this one. You can call this 60 frame per second also. Okay, that means 60 frame per second, one by 60. You have to pass one by 60 means 60 per frame per second. Okay, so it will be very fast. Yes, see this. It is calling this method 60 frame per second. So you can build your game loop or Uh, or uh, game loop uh, if you are um, building any game with kv uh, you should use this clock schedule interval don't use while one loop or a while true loop okay so while true loop will uh, will um, crash your application or your application will not initialize because of the long loop okay infinite loop okay so you cannot use Uh, sorry you use you you, uh, you have to use this clock schedule interval okay yeah, that is so you can on thing uh, yes so clock schedule interval and you can unschedule dot stop this call back also you can and stop this uh, loop also okay so or this uh, call back also so for this i i i'm just you adding button to do some action so for and uh, text equal to stop and i am putting another button start just here t start okay and oh sorry text equal to start text text equal to start this t a r t and this time for using these events on release r e l e a c release r e l e a c release self dot call and on release r e l e a c on release self dot call to 
okay i i am using these two methods just two method also okay so we have to use this brackets here now i have to define not self it will be root i am doing wrong here oh, root because root means root means this this object okay self means this button object so i have to use this root and uh, def call self and uh, in call what i have to do just i have to, i want to just stop the this clock schedule interval or repetitive call okay so self dot e object dot cancel it will stop and in call to def call call to method self and self dot e object yes this i'm using this because i want to start okay just write this object this object and bracket okay now i'm just running this program or app yes see this is calling this loop now i am stopping this just stopped okay i now i on i want to start again see here it is started okay and i can stop start stop start so i can start the loop i can st stop the loop okay so uh, okay you can make the game loop or uh, game loop by, by using is if you are building any game and you can move widgets here you can move position of widgets so uh, for okay so that's it uh, now for further uh, information or more information you can read all these things now uh, something all documentation is here you can read uh, and if you want to use you have to pass any variable like x I want to pass this x so for uh, in this case you have to use this partial okay uh, of python the function tool if you in if you in one second yes i have to use this parcel this is um, python uh, python uh, rule or python uh, python standard library okay so one second so just use parcel p a r t i a l okay and pass this ob method or object and and to pass 5 or something okay just want to pass this value and and to print the x so just control s to save and run partial sorry partial p a r okay yes you can see the 5 is here so you can pass uh, value using this partial this is pure python python concept okay so that's it now this is all about all about uh, basics of uh, kv clocks kv clock okay now uh, now may important very important thing properties kv properties now you in what is kv property just open kv properties kv just open kv properties just search kv Pro, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. See here, key properties. Yeah. 
so uh, creepy properties uh, the properties classes are used when you create an event dispatcher so in uh, in simple words creepy properties are uh, special type of classes so you can uh, you can send data in this uh, key file and create events okay so for uh, okay let's write some code and to uh, it will clear your concept now uh, i'm just uh, creating variable vl val equal to zero okay it is simple uh, variable now i am here i am using these clock schedule ones i am just reducing the frequency and uh, here i'm just commenting this and now just val equal to val plus equal to 1 i'm just increasing this value okay and uh, i want to write in level okay so i want to put this in level okay self self dot hello okay now i want to put this uh, value of val in this level in this level so see here is i have to put this in level okay now for this i can call str root dot val okay so see here it is in uh, uh, after the initialization it is zero one second uh, one second so print okay see here this is this value is changing because this is this callback is called value is changing but this value is not updating in this level so this is main problem when with uh, when we, we are using a simple variable okay so for this you have to for this one second yes yes for this you have to use key view properties or key view properties has has all uh, more uh, other benefits also so i will cover all these things just and uh, so uh, to send this in key view file you have to use key view properties there are many type of key view properties are there uh, for more details information just read all these things uh, but for simple idea use there are many type of key properties to hold object there is object properties object property to hold uh, to hold uh, numerical value you have to use numerical property numeric property new m e r i c so for you yeah, uh, sorry for uh, before that you have to just import from kv dot properties import import star means all i am importing all properties okay now new numeric property here see here just zero i am just uh, value equal setting this value equal to numeric property and initial value is zero i can you can to uh, write string property it will hold string string value okay it will hold string hello list property it will hold uh, list list okay list means i want one one something list or object property it will hold object initially it is i am putting initial it is none or you can pass any object also and other things okay just uh, uh, for example just uh, text or st and uh, lst okay i'm just assigning this values and object means uh, obj 
पी ओ बी जे ओके आई हैव असाइंड दिस ऑल दिस थिंग्स स्ट्रिंग प्रॉपर्टी इक्वल टू इनिशियली इट इज जस्ट ब्लैंक स्क्रीन ब्लैंक स्ट्रिंग ओके एंड इट दिस लिस्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज जस्ट सिंपल लिस्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज नॉन एंड की बी प्रॉपर्टीज इज देर आर सेवरल बेनिफिट्स आई विल कवर ऑल दिस थिंग्स सो लेट्स नाउ नाउ यू कैन सी द चेंज इन दिस लेवल ओके बिकॉज आई हैव यूज दिस की बी प्रॉपर्टीज सो सी हेयर इट इज नाउ चेंजिंग दिस वैल्यू इज चेंजिंग ऑन सेकेंड सो नाउ इट इज चेंजिंग and uh, and in uh, using by using kibri properties you can you can uh, create event okay so to make an event uh, just write on dash before the name of kibri property vl okay self dot vl u in value और भी एल यू यू टू पास इस भी सिंपली भी ओके नाउ आई एम आई वांट टू प्रिंट ऑन फ्रॉम ऑन आई एम जस्ट सिंपल कॉलिंग दिस प्रिंटिंग दिस सिंपल स्ट्रिंग भी एल ओके टू डिटेक्ट इट इज प्रिंटिंग ऑन नॉट सो just see this when this value will change it will call this method this method automatically just put on so there are the, um, some noise outside of, uh, of my room so that's why i am just uh, sometime i'm just pausing and this video so so now no <clears throat> and uh, so you have to just put on and dash okay be, uh, before your property name okay I, as i am using this value val name v a l and that's why i have used this on dash before this and okay so it will call this uh, this when this value will change it will call this on val okay automatically this is the another benefit of kv properties you can create event okay so let's run this code one second on val take two positional arguments but three were given okay so if you when if you don't know how many you have to how many you have to pass very well so just put a star before before uh, your variable name okay so it will print the list so you can see how many variable needed okay so you can just run this code here yes, see see uh, from val it is it is taking two variables one is screen object mean this object this object and another is this value okay so now you can see here this value the value of this level is changing and also this callback from val means the print is printing print method is printing this values okay because uh, it is calling so so that's it i think it is now clear and uh, you can create this type of events okay so this is the second benefit of kv properties so now another big big things so it will uh, be very help helpful when you was you are using kv properties now see i have used this object property okay i have uh, defined this object property and initially it is non so i can pass or i can set the value from the constructor okay when i am creating this first screen object now see this 
I can pass P O B J equal to self. Yes, see here. This is main things, and uh, see here and. Uh, now okay let's uh, define another level okay la level and text equal to and put some id okay id equal to l b l 2 and this is the levels id means this object okay now on kiwi post here i have pass this self means this object app object or my app object okay so i can control or i can use all the properties of this object because i have passed i have passed this object here so it will help you to do more complicated things sometimes uh, people are facing problem when they are using two screen or four screen or different uh, classes or objects they they used other others they, they want to use callbacks or methods of another uh, class to any other class so so it, it will connect other uh, two three classes or many widgets so if you are if you are passing this object okay it is so you can see now i am self dot ids dot uh, ids equal to label 2 okay l b l 2 dot text equal to str self dot obj see here i have what i have did here just i am uh, taking the level 2 level 2 object means this level and i want to change the text of that level and to convert this object equal to str means the, it will be just text and okay so i can print all the ids print self dot ids so it will print all the ids which we have defined here okay now just run this code see here this is the id and one second yes and here the main app main my app object means its parent a class okay or parent object this class so i can change uh, i can change or once so i can change or use or see at one second here a small demonstration mm, uh, if app call just i am defining a variable to for demonstration purpose cl self comma um, not comma and to print hello and something to detect just i am using this uh, sharp this symbol okay uh, now i here i have this self dot p object means this self this object okay my app object now um, i want to print i want to print okay so not print just return okay r e t u yes and to return this okay now i am calling this method from this my app my app uh, object uh, class okay now for this you have to just use app call okay and uh, it will call this callback and return this text and it will set this text okay so let's save and run see here 
I have successfully called methods from another class okay by using this object property this object property you can uh, you can create event also also here just div on on dash and dash again for my for this name because before uh, in the in in first character i have used this underscore okay so if you just use two underscore p r p o b j p o b j and uh, self star a r g r okay and uh, print a r o b j c h a n g d okay object changed to detect this object is changed a r g s now let's save and run yes see this object changed this means uh, first of all uh, first it it is it it was known and after i have set this equal to self okay so so that's why it is calling this method and uh, and and this print is uh, in the screen okay so that's all so these are the all the benefits of kv properties so okay just that's all for today uh, so so do, uh, to more about kv properties you can you can read the documentations all things are written and one i think want to tell you just this uh, these all are similar okay numeric property string property and list property object property but different they hold different type of data or value here that, that mean this it, it will hold only numerical values and it will hold string value or string data it will hold string uh, list data it will hold object data and other uh, more other things and there are also boolean property b b double l bool equal to b double l e n boolean property also true or false it will hold true or false okay initially it is true so you can uh, read all these things uh, all the documentations are here well they will they defined all these things so if you so that's it uh, so if you enjoyed this video just uh, hit the like button and and uh, subscribe my channel and share my videos okay so that's all for today i'll see you in next video thanks for watching